Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. Welcome back to the part two of 2009 Volkswagen Jetta 2.5 transmission service. This one has 124,000 miles. I bought her last week. I was very concerned about the condition of the transmission fluid, the filter, the magnets and everything. And I got very lucky. You guys crossed fingers for me. Got very lucky. The fluid was black. That's bad. But when we got a pan off, the magnets had a minimal miniature shavings, microscopic shavings. There's almost nothing visible in that filter mesh right there if you look. Uh, this is the old gasket with its spacer, so I can finally throw away this, get rid of it, and we can continue with part two. So I'm sure you watched the part one video, so you know that we replaced the filter inside of the transmission. We replaced the gasket with those spacers, those metal spacers. Everything is torqued. I have overflow pipe inside and I have a drain plug slightly or lightly torqued installed because we will be opening it for adjusting of the fluid level. Now how we will continue. This is that modern so-called sealed transmission. So it has no dipstick and there creates problem with us how to even refill it with the new fluid and then how to measure correctly or set up correctly that fluid level in the transmission. In the previous video I have measured the amount of the fluid we caught and basically we were still below three quarts. We know this transmission when it has a factory fill this is a 7.1 US quarts, so let's say 7 quarts. We caught only 3, so basically putting back 3 and maybe a little bit more to adjust the level. We don't know if the level was correct. And to help myself and read everything correctly for you, <clears throat> I grabbed my info here. So what's the fluid? What kind of fluid you can put in it? Not to create damage, actually. So Volkswagen, it's a product, Volkswagen, the ATF part number is G055025. So it's a G055025. Aftermarket company, what we see the Volkswagen suppliers are selling, definitely one of them is Raven All ATF T4. Also, it's made by ASIN, Japanese maker, ASIN, so you can maybe find ASIN ATF T4. Uh, many times I see that Febby Bill Stein ATF, and the number for that is 29934. And somebody mentioned somewhere, I'm not sure if it's correct, it's a mobile ATF 3309. And as we mentioned before, this transmission doesn't have a dipstick. There's not tube coming from the engine bay. But you will have the dipstick inside and you could introduce the new fluid to fill it up, right? These three US quarts of the new fluid. And you cannot measure it. So basically, at this moment, it's a pain. Now, when these... 09Gs were introduced in Volkswagen vehicles. There was actually filler tube. So just for orientation, we are in front of the vehicle. This is the front with that new gasket right here. And right here, if you look there, that opening, which seemingly doesn't do anything right now, there was the opening and the little plastic neck right here and you could theoretically bring some hose from above and gravity feed three quarts inside of the tranny and 
then start the diagnosis, uh, excuse me, and then start the procedure of adjusting correctly the fluid level inside of the tranny. Right now, this is not available. So we could purely theoretically start shooting from under using some pump or something pumping the fluid from under. But this is basically the lowest spot of that entire unit, so it doesn't make sense. Look, if you look on the front, well, how far is this from here? Well, it's an inch. This is electronic connector, right? This is fully electronic transmission. The valve body has the solenoids. There is a lot of wires inside, and these are the ones, this is where it connects. We actually are able to use, to remove, and put very slightly on the side that electric wiring harness and actually use either pump or large syringe and put those three quarts of the fluid inside of the transmission this way. So I will start with unhooking this electrical connector, so these wires that will be hanging on the side, and I will remove this 10 millimeter bolt right now. If somebody knows why they got rid of that filler entry access, let us know in the comments underneath the video, please. I will bet you it was cost cutting. They were trying to save money uh, and cutting corners, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. So, how do I unclick this puppy without breaking it? Huh? Huh, did you hear it? It nicely click. Come on, baby. It's a plastic. I don't want to break it. Here we go. Right here on the side. I will put it probably right here so I don't need to deal with it. So now you see that other part of that connector. Let's remove that 10 millimeter bolt. Okay. <clears throat> Here's my 10 millimeter, three quarts, the small tools. This is all small, so I don't use power tools. Good, I don't want, I don't want to strip something. It's teeny tiny stuff. Okay, the bolt is gone. How difficult will be to move this connector to move it outwards and then on the side. Let's see. Wiggle, 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 boom! Oh, look at that. Look at that. I will bring you closer. I will show you the detail. Okay, basically what I did is to move this. I hope you can see it. Maybe you cannot because the camera is too big. But right there on the right side I'm not pulling on those wires, right? You don't want to damage the wire harness inside. And here you can see some, just few samples of how to transfer the automatic transmission fluid from your container into the transmission. Let's see how the big baby will work for us today. Yeah. So as I said, very careful. If that wiring harness will never pull on it too much, that will be a huge no-no. Oh yeah, but this is good. This is beautiful, clear, new fluid. And we got out three quarts. I will put a little bit more which I will sacrifice in order not to be adjusting and then there will be not enough and I will have to undo this connector again, open it and come back. I don't want to deal with it, so I will put, let's say, 3.2 and I can show you that fluid is actually 
coming through here into the pan. Before, when it was empty, it sounded like a drum. Look, now I hear and I feel the response. The fluid is perfectly going right there. So I have slightly over three quarts, US quarts of fluid I have chosen <laughs> inside. Cleanliness, extremely important, right? Actually clean around that connector a lot before I even had a nerve to remove it because there was all that oil here. We have a leak from vacuum pump on top of that engine. It's draining down on the transmission. That will be a next video. So this has a O-ring. So I will wiggle it carefully without pinching it. You can twist it, right? Twist, ah, uh, yes. The twisting was very beneficial. I will install back the 10 millimeter bolt, which is holding it perfectly in the place to correctly set and adjust that automatic transmission level. I have to have engine running. I should go through every single gear position for approximately 10 seconds and after that return the transmission to the park and then I have to wait for transmission fluid to reach certain range. In Celsius it's a 35, it's between 35 to 45 Celsius in Fahrenheit it's between 95 and 113 Fahrenheit. When I will be in this range I will open that drain plug, fully remove it and there needs to be flow of the fluid out and when it will start only dripping very slow, let's say trickle or drip, in this moment the tranny fluid level is perfect and it's ready to work. So let's go and do that. I will be observing the transmission of fluid temperature on that scanner. So I already hooked it in the OBD2 port right here. I have it through the open window. So I will be able to close that. Be outside, watch the numbers and then do what we said. So foot on brake pedal. Let's start that up. I will wait for at least a little bit. It doesn't mean I have to do it immediately. It's fine. The engine is cold, you can see it. So let's give it a few seconds. I open the shop so I don't suffocate, observe all of us. For safety, never do this. In winter in the closed garage the fumes will kill you. You see how it's nicely going down. Now I feel good. So 10 seconds each. Reverse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Basically what I'm doing, I'm distributing the fluid there was no level, then we filled it up, now it's coming, mixing together, it's going through every single solenoid passage and so on. That's the whole purpose of staying in different gears. Alright, so pass. holding the brake, I'm not letting the wheel spin. And I should be totally fine to return it. We already did every single one of them. It's reacting correctly. Right? You shouldn't have no delayed engagement, for example, from park to reverse. 
Oh yeah, it's there. That was less than half a second. Excellent. So I'm putting it in the park and I will go and deal with that scanner. I'm going manually in the transmission control module. And I want to have a live data. There's the ECU, trouble codes and so on. I want to see the live data. And we have engine speed 720, transmission RPM 660. Our voltage is selector lever in park, ATF temperature 41 Celsius. Alright, so it came in Celsius. You see me rushing. It's already 42. You don't want to get out of that range which we are at already. Let's do it. Hurry up, Peter, if you will keep hesitating. This will actually be too hot and you have to abort the mission and start over again. So let's see if we put enough if it will start coming out. And my friend, perfect example. Is 3.2 quarts barren enough? I don't have fluid coming out. We have to top it off. That means I'm putting this back immediately. And I can tell you this, this tranny was underfilled because I was putting a little bit more than I got today out and it's not enough. Scroll up there in the cabin, shut her off, and the scanner was saying 48 Fahrenheit. Some of you don't have scanner, but you can buy this very cheap laser infrared thermometer. This is from Harbor Freight, that costs almost nothing. Let's see where the pan is. 112, okay, let's go in Celsius. So it was 48, the fluid is 48, just one minute ago. Now look at it, the pan itself, right here it's 41 basically, and here it's a 44 Fahrenheit. So you can see the pan, it's obviously slightly cooler. The fluid is hotter. If you don't have a scanner, you can purely theoretically try to use this method. So I have added half quart of that new fluid. The temperature is still within a range. So let's go really quickly check and hopefully we will have that trickle going out. the camera so hopefully you can see better oh I think so I see possible fluid oh yeah my friend that's it that's it can you see it this is absolutely perfect can you see the flow of it so it definitely needed way less than the half quart it was really barely, barely not coming out. I look at it. You see these interruptions? When it will start being a trickle, I will close it and the level will be perfect. Almost there. Almost there. We don't want to leave it overfilled. We don't want to do any damage inside. This is a fine art. This is absolutely fascinating and we are getting there. So I wasted probably quart of the quart. Quart of the quart. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is it. Almost there. I will grab the camera but I need to be holding this. I will not bring you closer. I'm sorry for that. But that's the way it is. You see. See it slowing down. And 
because the transmission, when the temperature goes up, the fluid kind of expands, so you have to be within that certain range. Range. If the transmission will be hot, it will be overflowing way more, and you will actually end up with a low level. Now you see it? I see these pauses. This is definitely becoming a trickle. I will shut it down. Yeah, I think this is it. This is very, very slow. Yep. Problem is, as, as it keeps running, it's warming up, and I don't want to end up out of that range. And because of that, the flow is absolutely minimal. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it just drips. That's it. That's it. That's when I will close this. And I know I didn't have any torque numbers for you in the previous video but this one actually I had it's a 15 Newton meters so there's the new washer crush washer which will seal it 15 Newton meters and we are done so I am done and let's go and summarize this two videos part one part two what did we do we replaced the filter, we replaced the gasket with those spacers, those washers. We installed a new fluid. Now, out of seven quarts, which is the fill, we replaced only 3.3, apparently. 3.5 will be half, so we can say we replaced only half. The fluid was very bad, the transmission was in service for a long time. I will personally drive it for a week or two and then do the simple drain and refill. So I will remove the drain plug, drain that, then I will remove the overflow plug, let all that out, that will be probably 2.8. Then I will put it back, just fill it up from the front, I like that method, instead of buying adapters and shooting it from underneath through that drain plug and I will keep driving and then I will do it in another two weeks probably one more time that will give uh, that will give me good feeling about having a nice fluid inside and also I will know the level it's perfect now for you who doesn't have a fourteen hundred dollar scanner and you don't want to buy something and you still want to service it basically wink wink right that vehicle was here entire afternoon because it takes forever to film it normally this will probably take one hour one and a half hour something like that but because i'm dealing with camera and gloves this is entire afternoon when i entered that brand new fluid all engine you heard it on the idle that engine and transmission were completely cold so wink wink when or how long you will be waiting for that fluid warm-up on that range 35 to 45 well not really long I barely started it up raise her up and it was already in the range of that so purely theoretically you don't have to have this and when it's cold and it runs for a couple of minutes you are already in the range also i try to help you with that laser item with that simple thing you saw what was happening on the scanner which is using a sensor inside of the tranny so that was reading the fluid and you saw what was correlated temperature on the transmission oil pan so you can put it together you don't have to have that super expensive scanner just to do it right and adjust the level perfectly and enjoy your Volkswagen, whichever you have. I hope this will help a ton of people in the future. If you like it, please always give it a thumb up. Apparently that helps with the search engine 
and be subscribed. I will be filming a ton of content on this Jetta. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.